name is Artastic and in this video art tutorial we're going to be exploring the principle of design balance and we're going to be playing with some symmetry in this lovely silly symmetry bug. We're going to be using a choice art medium for the eyes, antennae, and limbs and also we're going to pick a choice color piece of paper and some liquid tempera paint for the body where we're going to smush the paint, make some magic happen. So grab some liquid temper paint, some choice art making mediums, and a choice color piece of paper, and let's make some art. <laughs> All right, so we're going to be exploring the principle of design balance by making some silly symmetrical bugs. So bugs that explore symmetry which means that we're going to have an equal, an image that is mirrored on each side. So we're going to be creating a mirrored image over a fold line. So it's balanced perfectly on either side of the paper. So we're going to take a choice color paper. I'm going to use orange. You pick whatever color you want and we're going to fold it in half up the middle. Okay. And we're going to use a choice mark maker to write our name on the back our teacher's name if it's needed and if this is in school you may also want to put the grade or the date any information that your teacher is gonna need on the back okay we're gonna unfold it just like that and then we're also going to get one piece of paper but only the third we only need a third of a piece of paper and we're gonna turn it so it's vertical and we're gonna draw some bug eyes and some bug legs. So at the top, we're gonna design, you can make whatever design of bug eyes you want. I'm gonna draw two circles at the top that have some curving rectangles on the inside. And then I'm gonna color in the eyes nice and dark, leaving just those rectangles nice and white so they look shiny. Okay, there's my bug eyes. In fact, I think I'm gonna draw some antennae on here. Now, they're not going to be in the right spot. I am cutting them out. Okay. I'm also going to need some bug legs. So I need six legs on each side. So I need to draw, sorry, six legs in total, three legs on each side. So I need to draw six legs. So that's three for each side. One, two, three going one way. You can draw them however you want. One, two, and three the other way. Okay, now don't worry about where they are because of course we're gonna cut them out and glue them onto the body after. Color in them if you would like. So I want them to be brown, so I'm gonna add a little bit of brown with some felt marker to them. But you can make them whatever color you want. Perfect. Cut them out. Recycle any little bits and place your legs all together. You should have six legs in total. Again, three for each side. Recycling all your little bits. Now I'm gonna also cut out my eyes. I need to cut out the antennae. Okay, 
like that. There we go. Okay, so now I take my already pre-folded design and I'm going to draw a bug on one side. So I'm going to first start off with the head. So I'm going to draw a nice big oval at the top for the head. And then we'll add the thorax and abdomen. So I'll add a nice big body like that. And that's all we need because we're going to add the other details at the very end by gluing them on top. Okay, so we'll add all these after we cut it out. We'll add all that on. No big deal, okay? I guess it'll be more like that. Okay, so don't worry. We're going to set these to the side because we got to finish making this bug look awesome. So we got a nice bug shape on one side. And now we're going to get three colors of choice colored paint and we're going to add three dots for each one. So I'm going to do one, two, three dots just on one side. We're only working on one side. So three, do three dots of my first color. Whoa, one, two, three dots of my next color and three dots of my third color. And you might be choosing the same colors or not. And you might be using it from a tube or you might be using it from a container or palette. We all have different circumstances. So we're all at our dots in different ways. But once you're ready, you're gonna take your paper. We're gonna fold it in half and we're gonna smooth it. Make some magic. Okay, and when you're ready, we're gonna count to three and we're gonna go one, two, three, and we're gonna open it up. Ooh. And just like that, we have a beautifully painted bug. So once we come back, we're gonna cut out bug on the other side. We'll draw in the rest of the details. We'll open it up, we'll cut it out, and then we're gonna glue on all our lovely little bug details. All right, so once your artwork is dry, you're gonna have a lovely bug, but my friends, something happened. I accidentally <laughs> stepped on my bug. I put it on the ground to dry um, because I was working on some other YouTube videos and I stepped on my bug and now I have an <laughs> my shoe texture on my, on my bug and my shoe has paint on it too. Luckily, that's washable. All right, we got to cut out bugs. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold it the opposite direction this time. Because so we have our drawn lines on one side, but not the other. So we're going <laughs> to fold bug in half and we're going to cut along that line that we first drew just along the outside here. We're going to cut out bugs shape. Okay, recycle the extra bits or use it for your scrap paper bin and check it out. We have a lovely bug. Mine has this uh, rather interesting shoe texture. And once you have bug all cut out, you're gonna grab your bug bits. Mine fell on the floor. My bug bits, here's I think a leg. Oh yeah, nice little leg here. Okay, so you can go ahead and place your bug bits and see how you like them. Place them in a order that you find most interesting. Actually, if I turn some of these upside down. Oh yeah, I like that better. See, you gotta play with them and turn them. I think I gotta turn this one upside down. Well, that's kind of big for our arm. Let's do that one. Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay. So you gotta move them all around and try them in different angles because you never know what you're gonna get or what you're gonna like, right? We're all gonna like different things. Okay, and my other eye, where'd it go? Sorry, bug, I'm so sorry that I stepped on you. And some antennae. I think I'm gonna move my eyes up. You gotta move them all over. See, you don't know what's gonna look right until you move it around and check it out. There you go. Now I can see a little bit better. Okay, have one more. There we go. How cute is that? Okay, I got a glue bug together. So I'm. I'm just gonna make it easy. I'm just gonna use some liquid glue, but you can use whatever kind of glue you want. 
Just add a dot, not a lot. We're not building a house. Oh, come on, there we go. Just a dot, not a lot. Press and hold for a moment. Ensure it adheres to your paper. Just a dot, not a lot. Just a dot, not a lot. Once you're done gluing your lovely bug all together, your fabulous bug art, perfect for spring, summer, or simply any time of the year that you are wanting to make some bug art or study insects, as well as the principle of design symmetry, your lovely bug is done.